Hey DJs out there, I've got a simple message for you, which is that your ears are super, super important. Did you know there's lots of invertebrate species that don't have eyes, but none that don't have ears? That's because hearing is super important for not only survival, but everyday communication. And as DJs, your hearing is at risk. Can you imagine if a piano player gradually lost use of his hands over time the more he played piano? People would be freaking out and people would be saying, hey, piano players, they need more protection. But not a lot of people are talking about DJs. And the reality is your hearing is in danger. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some really simple but very important ways that you can protect your ears while enjoying DJing for a really long time. First, let's set some very simple facts. Number one, uh, noise exposure over time is the problem. So the longer you're exposed to noise, the more damage occurs. Important to remember. Second, we're most sensitive to frequencies between three and five kilohertz. That's usually the mid band on your EQ of a mixer. Third, our ears become desensitized over time. So the more you DJ, the less loud the room seems, even though it might be the exact same level. So knowing these fundamentals, here are some things that we can all do to save our ears and stay DJing for 20, 30, or maybe even 40 years. First, before your set, you'll wanna throw in earplugs. Now I like these guys in particular because they have a string that goes around the neck, I don't ever lose them and they're not that expensive. So when I do lose them, which I do, I can replace them for not that much money. So these are noise reducing earplugs and there's a number of them on the market. These particular ones are made by Vmoda. They're gonna go straight into the ear and they're gonna reduce the overall decibel levels without changing the frequency spectrum. So you can still hear the music, you can still hear people talking, but it's just sort of turned down uh, the overall level in the club. By putting in earplugs before your set, you're going to save yourself and completely eliminate at least 30 to, uh, minutes to an hour of exposure right off the bat. So that's an important first one. Put the earplugs in before your set. During your set, we want to reduce the length of the exposure by cutting up the noise. We do this by turning down the booth monitor. It's really, really easy to leave the booth monitor up throughout your full set. You're feeling the music, you're getting really excited, you don't wanna lose the energy, so you just keep the booth up. But guess what? Over time, your perception of how loud it is goes down. So gradually you see DJs turn up the booth, turn up the booth, turn up the booth until there's nowhere else to go. So do yourself a favor, be super disciplined, and turn down the booth in between mixes. So only when you actually really need to reference the music and you're mixing with your, your headphones, you turn up the booth to an appropriate level and then turn it down to give your ears a break so they can reset and know what's normal. After your DJ set, you're gonna to wanna to get out of the club. Get out of the club, take a break, get into complete silence or at least a lower decibel volume so your ears get a break, then come back in and hang out with the friends. It's a good reset and it'll help break up the time duration that your ears are exposed to noise. If you've just played a big gig and your ears are ringing and you're at home, if there's any way not to play another set the next night, definitely avoid it because it's these successive events, these successive traumas, if you will, just like concussions, that will cause permanent damage. It's really common after a night of DJing to have your ears ring. It's really common after you go out to the uh, nightclub yourself or see a big band. Your ears are gonna ring a little bit, but they're designed to recover, and they will recover over time unless you keep hitting them over the head, at which case uh, some permanent damage may occur, which could look like um, you know, dips in the frequency spectrum where you don't hear the highs as much, or even tinnitus, which a lot of people have where you have a permanent ringing in your ear. Second, most important thing, you wanna trust the EQs and the levels on your mixer. As I said before, over time, your ears are gonna to start to play tricks on you. So you're gonna think, oh man, this club just sounds terrible. I can't hear any highs, or ah, oh, this room just isn't very loud. So oftentimes you'll see DJs doing this on the mixer. 
really, we're talking about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dB of gain on the mid and the high frequencies. And if you're playing old music from the 60s or 70s, okay, you may need to adjust the EQs a little bit so the songs match. But these days, with highly mastered and processed dance music, most songs, you're just gonna need a neutral EQ and, and trust the songs, and most importantly, trust the engineer in the club that the club is gonna be tuned properly. Leave it straight and, and trust the EQs. The other thing you wanna trust is the master level. You come in, you do a sound check, you turn on the sound system, and you find a level where the front of house engineer says, hey, that's a good level to stick to. Or your ears tell you, that's a good level to stick to. In this case, it might be plus two dB. Now, I guarantee at some point in the night, you're gonna look at that same level and think, oh man, it's just not that loud, especially if you didn't turn down your booth monitors. Ultimately, that's where we get into the most common DJ syndrome of all, and also a bad sci-fi film, Total Red Line, where you get this going on. Because it sounds not that loud, and people just keep turning it up and turning it up. So again, you gotta trust the levels, and just know your ears are playing tricks on you. Keep it at the level that you set at the beginning of the night. If you really think it's too quiet, ask an objective source, like the club owner, the promoter, or better yet, the front of house engineer, and say, hey, Keep an eye on the dance floor. If the levels are too low, when the place fills up, come turn me up. But try to keep the mixer set as neutral as possible and just know that your ears are gonna be fatiguing over time. The final way that you can save your ears while DJing is quite simple. You wanna be able to lower the overall ambient level in the club without changing the music for the audience. How can you do that? Well, there's a couple different ways. Number one, as I mentioned before, there's earplugs. More specifically, there's a kind of earplug called a musician's earplug. This is a custom molded earplug, very similar to these in-ear monitors that pop right into your ears and have filters to reduce the levels by 10, 20, 30, or even 40 decibels, which is a lot. So it brings down the levels, but you can still hear the music. That allows you to still listen to the monitors, listen to your headphones, but you don't have to turn everything up as loud because everything's been brought down. Now these guys are really expensive. They're usually between $100 to $150 for musicians' earplugs. A good alternative would be to mix using in-ear monitors, which are gonna accomplish the same thing. Once I pop these puppies in, it's gonna be like I have a pair of noise blocking headphones in and it sounds really strange to me, but you guys are all gonna be super silent. So this really blocks out all the noise in the club and just allows me to focus on mixing in the headphones. The disadvantage of this, of course, is that you really need to be able to comfortably mix only in the headphones, not off the near field monitors. Finally, something a lot of DJs do is they'll use over ear headphones, something like these guys that completely go over my ears that cuts out a lot of sound, at least 20 decibels. So they might be DJing like this, and at certain points in the night, they might pop both of them on to give their ears a break for a while. Or some people even mix with these fully on, and they're able to take them off really easily. If you've made it this far, I applaud you. Thank you for watching, and please do yourself a favor. Do everything you can to save your ears, because once they're gone, they're gone, and you'll be a really sad DJ. For more tips, tricks, reviews, and so much more just like this video, follow us on the web at djtechtools.com.